because I have the filter drawer, what I have is the another drawer here. This was broke by the delivery guy. He threw the, the air shell wedge with this and the drawer, everything, bam, to my backyard. It was well protected by Astro Art Finland, our sponsor. And here I have the other filter, the quad band, like this, ready to go, you see? Ready to go. I just need to place it, take the other and place this one like this. It has magnets, so it will be fine. So I just change without having to, to unscrew everything. Hopefully I can do it. It's, it's the test I will do. I can change the filters without losing the nebula from the field of view. Hopefully. We'll see. And we'll see the difference using a narrowband filter from Altair. So let me go outside and change it. I think it is focusing. You will see the difference. I think it is focused. You lose more stars from the field. Let's stack it. Some filters are par focal, but these are different. And this is a narrow band. Look, first difference, the histogram. Okay, the noise is the same. Remember, we are cutting more light. But the bands, the wave bands of this hydrogen will pass. The background is darker. Less stars. And the image start more faint than with the Bader Neodymium. It will require more exposition time here, more stacking, to reach to a good point in the screen. But that's expected. Although it's supposed to get more details after a while. We'll see. We lose a bit of the spikes also, at least for now. Oh, you didn't use it yet. Yes, of course, with the... Uh, with the weather. Now, one thing that I think I'm noticing is more details starting to pop at the hard region, which is the... the middle of the, the nebula. The crescent nebula, usually we can see this, like a, a C letter, no? But the hard part is to capture the details here, the rest of the nebula. Live stacking. You can see perfectly the central star. Well, this is a, a soft narrow band, so it's not supposed to cut too much light as the others. It cuts, but it leaves four bands. Yeah, we need more stack to clean the noise. Now let me pull the, the other image without processing it because we want to check this without any manipulation to understand what's happening here. This was the right one at the right is the the one with the Vader Neodymium. Yes I can see a bit more of detail if we are picky. And this has half of the exposure of the one of the right and it's supposed to have uh, to double the exposure because it needs more exposure time. At the end, uh, the Bader Neodymium does a, a great job. It was spot on this filter, the Bader Neodymium. Strongly recommended. And the color is not so orangish. Yes, I think we are getting a bit more detail here. Now we have 198 stacked, almost the same. You see now. The left one is the narrow band filter, the quad band, and the right one is the Bader Neodymium. Hmm, I see. I see. I see. I start seeing more details. Look at here. Look at this part of the nebula here. Yeah. It's enhanced. Now it's it's like a race. This one at the left cocked the one at the right. When we buy a filter, we should watch 
the results online. There are always results from people. For instance, oh, I think I'm going to... Uh, I think the, the Optolong L Pro could be a good filter for me. Watch examples online, watch the telescopes they use, and watch the Bortal Sky, very important, they have the light pollution level, and compare with yours. And then you will see the results of uh, similar setups, and you can decide better. This filter, the quad band filter from Altair, it cuts loads of light. Look, the only light that it let pass, it's only these two bars here, or lines, that you, you see here, these wave bands. All the rest that you see here, all the rest is black. It's cutting. The more we stack, the more, look at the core, we start seeing more and more slowly, slowly, this forming, well, forming in the image because they are there already. Well, they were. <laughs> Let me see how, my, how much time. Crescent Nebula. Oh, 5000 light years only. It's near Earth. 5000 light years. First, the thing that uh, all filters over the badder new DMU. This not hap that doesn't happen with the uh, infrared and ultraviolet cut filters, neither with the badder new DMU. That's why I like that filter. They are soft enough to allow the color to be with a more natural tint. I know we, we can process and change all the colors that we want at the end, but that's not the point here. The point is to watch in real time. Every filter above, above the Bader New Demium, I mean, that cuts more light than the Bader New Demium, gets this orange tint. Some more than the others. But in fact, this quad band filter can get a bit more of detail of the nebula if we stack. Now, from now, everything that we are stacking is more than we stacked here. More time, so it's not fair. But I can see that uh, this can be a useful filter, the narrow band, for the moonlight nights. That will be an interesting experience.